So for today, we're going to be looking at the Intrepid stuff for the Hunters, which is the Intrepid Discovery set. And if this is your first video, we're basically looking at all of the armor from that set. We're making individual sets from those pieces. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Remember, I've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. In the review video, we talk about the armor and I praise it quite a bit, which is not surprising. The armor is pretty cool. And then the shader video, I showcase all of the current shaders that I currently have favorited because if I do all of them, I will legitimately fall asleep, which I've done that in the past. And overall, pretty dope videos. I definitely would recommend you guys to watch those if you guys want to see the armor sets with different shaders and whatnot. But for this one, we're going to be looking at some example sets that I've made using pieces from the Intrepid Discovery set. And let me know what you guys think about some of these sets. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you guys can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. That does help quite a bit. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the Intrepid Discovery Mask with the Intrepid Discovery Cloak. This, These two are so good together. Obviously, they're from the same set, but it's also because the Intrepid Discovery Cloak has a really big problem that if you combine it with most other helmets, it's going to look really weird because the Intrepid uh, Discovery Cloak goes a little bit higher than most cloaks. So it just looks kind of weird. Like you have this like big five head type of thing, but for this one, obviously, we're going for a cowboy look. The TM Herb Custom Grips with the Parade Vest is a good combo, especially with the Deep Pockets ornament for the Lucky Pants. For the shadering, Gamekeeper is quickly becoming one of my favorite shaders just because the brown and the blue just could look really good together. And I think one of my favorite things about this set is the fact that the Hunter Insignia is not only on the front in the undershirt of the chest piece, but it's also in the back as well, specifically the head, which is really, really cool. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Intrepid Discovery Arms, and this one is actually pretty decent. And I don't know which one I prefer from the male or females. I think the males just because weirdly enough, the females have so much cake from the hardened basilisk leg guards that it kind of makes it look a little too like uneven <laughs> which is really funny to me but for the helmet we're going to be using graviton forfeit with the ornament i don't know why the picture doesn't show the ornament on it but it, we're using using it with the ornament which is called regal crossroads it's definitely one of my favorite ornaments just because the purple looks way better than the pink for the base look of Graviton Forfeit. And then for the chest piece, Limitless Aversion Vest with the cloak, the combo just looks better because again, they're from the same set. That being said, I still think it looks cool. For the boots, Hardened Basilisk Leg Guards is what I'm using, but honestly, you don't have to use this. And if I'm being honest, I feel like I really regret using this. If I were to be true to myself, I would have most likely have used the the boots from the Lux Riders ornament. I think that one would have been a little bit better. That being said, it does have silver, so that would have bothered me a little bit. But I definitely think it would have been better. So if you if you're like, oh, I don't have Hardened Basilisk, honestly, any boot that doesn't have armor would have been a better choice for this. So don't feel like you need Hardened Basilisk because again, like I said, any piece that doesn't have armor is gonna look really cool with this. As for the shader, and we're gonna be using uh, Dreaming Spectrum just because uh, the purples and blues goes really well with the Regal Crossroads ornament. As for the next set, we're gonna be using the Intrepid Discovery Vest, and this is another technically cowboy themed one, and I think this one looks really, really cool. So for the helmet, Scarin Corvus Mask. For the helmet, for the arms, we're gonna be using the Mechanaris Trick Sleeves. For the chest piece, obviously Intrepid Discovery. For the boots, TM Erp Custom Chaps. And then for the cloak, Vanguard Dare Cloak. I think this one looks amazing for the shader. Uh, iron bone for everything but the helmet because the helmet takes off colors really really bad which is why the metro shift is being used that being said it's not the same silver because i feel like the the iron bone is more of a silver chrome and then the like the helmet is more like a dark gray chrome type of thing but that's just the, what I wanted to do because I didn't want to use the iron bone one because it turns it yellow and I definitely did not want to use that. So this is definitely my favorite so far. Uh, that means, I don't know, actually it's, it's hard because I do think the first one goes pretty hard and I do think the second one is decent as well. But this one, I just feel like is more in line with my style. That being said, I think the lucky pants one might be more in my style. I don't know. It's hard to explain. 
Let me know what you guys think about it. As for the last day, we're going to be using Knucklehead Radar for this one. And for the Shadering Unsated Curiosity is what I'm using. And for this one, I just ended up deciding to go for a like traditional hunter look. Like something that when you see, you're going to be like, that's a hunter right there. That's a hunter. And the Lux Sleeves with the Prodigal Vest is just such a good combo for this. But the Intrepid Discovery Strides with the Prodigal Vest is also a really good combo because the hip has so much happening you have the the uh the ammo packs there but you also have the fox tails and you also have the whip there so i think overall just so much happening there and that's why i really really like it for the cloak neoteric kiat cloak is just a very hunter cloak for me and which is why i'm using it um i think the only thing i would switch out would be the shader i could probably find a better shader for this one but when I think of a hunter, this is like the type of style that I feel like a hunter would be wearing, which is funny considering the prodigal vest is like the OG hunter look. So, yeah, just funny to me. So let me know what you guys think about some of these sets. I definitely think some of these sets are amazing and I'm really proud of these. Specifically, the second and third one I think are really, really cool. Not saying the or first and third, I should say. The second and fourth are pretty cool as well. But I feel like this, the first and third are just like on a different level. And funnily enough, they're both cowboy sets as well. So let me know what you guys think. I am currently working on a bunch of content, not just Destiny 2, but other stuff as well. I will keep you guys posted on some, or probably in the next videos, the Titan and Warlock videos. But I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.